Australia has always been a popular destination for immigrants, and the process of immigrating to Australia can be complex, and choosing the right visa can be challenging. In this video, we will discuss the easiest ways to immigrate to Australia in 2024, while looking at the pros and cons of each easy Australian immigration option, and rank them on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the easiest and 10 being the hardest. 1. 189 Skilled Worker Visa This visa gets an ease of application ranking of 2, and it's one of the most popular ways to immigrate to Australia. This visa is designed for skilled workers who have the qualifications and experience needed to fill Australia's skill shortages. To be eligible, you must score a certain number of points on a points-based system that takes into account your age, education, work experience, language proficiency, and other factors. The advantage of this visa is that it's one of the easiest ways to immigrate to Australia because it is based on a points system that gives weight to factors such as age and work experience. The disadvantage is in the long processing time, which can take up to 12 to 18 months. Additionally, the eligibility criteria can be quite strict, and not all applicants may meet the required points threshold. 2. Regional Skilled Visa Subclass 491 The Regional Skilled Visa Subclass 491 gets an ease of application ranking of 5, and it's designed for skilled workers who want to live and work in regional areas of Australia. To be eligible, you must have a job offer from an employer in a regional area or have a relative living in a designated regional area who can sponsor you. The Regional Skilled Visa is an easy way to immigrate to Australia if you are willing to live and work in a regional area, which is an advantage. Also, the visa application process is straightforward and the processing time is shorter than other visas. The downside of this visa is that it requires you to live and work in a regional area which may not be suitable for some applicants. The visa may also not be suitable for applicants who do not have a job offer or a sponsor in a regional area. 3. Business Innovation and Investment Visa Subclass 188 This visa has an ease of application ranking of 1 and it is designed for investors, entrepreneurs and business owners who want to invest in or start a business in Australia. There are five streams under this visa, including business innovation, investor, significant investor, premium investor, and entrepreneur. One advantage of this visa is that it offers a pathway to permanent residency and allows applicants to migrate with their families to Australia. The downside is that this visa requires applicants to invest a significant amount of money in an Australian business or start their own business, which can be a barrier for some applicants. 4. Global Talent Independent Program This program is designed to attract highly skilled workers in targeted sectors to Australia, and it has ease of application ranking of 3. The program offers a streamlined visa application process fast-tracked visa processing, and a pathway to permanent residency. This is an easy way to immigrate to Australia for highly skilled workers who are in demand in targeted sectors. The major con of this visa is that it is only available to highly skilled workers in targeted sectors. 5. Student Visa Subclass 500 The student visa is designed for international students who want to study in Australia and this visa allows students to study in Australia for up to five years. The advantage of this visa is the application process, which is relatively straightforward, and the processing time is shorter than other visas, as it also allows students to work part-time while studying. The downside is that this visa does not offer a pathway to permanent residency unless the student is able to secure a job offer after graduation. Take into account your credentials, professional background, family dynamics, and long-term objectives to ascertain which path is most convenient for you. You may learn more about the alternatives and requirements that apply to you depending on your situation by speaking with a certified migration agency. Keep in mind that immigration laws might change, so it's critical to be informed on the most recent details of Australia visa and immigration. 
That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.